Hey guys, Blue Kool-Aid here. Just gonna give you a video real quick. Hey, we've had a CME, okay? Um, I'm not sure if it was earth facing or not. I don't think it was completely. This is it right here. Um, you know, it is what it is. I think we might catch a glancing blow from it, maybe. Is it a big CME? No, it's not. Um, it's not huge, but it's significant enough that the tool picked it up. Um, I'm gonna take you guys over to it real quick over at seed seed was down for about a day well it's back up now and this is one of the things that i've seen right off the bat um you can see that right and um, let's just go ahead and pause it because i noticed some interesting things about this as i was watching it okay you're seeing it getting ready to come out from behind the occulter okay first thing i want to point out guys is you're seeing almost like a, a half sphere right there well, as we go forward here, you're going to see that disruption. Obviously, you see that too. I'm not typically seeing this signature before. But over here on the left-hand side, guys, what it's doing is it's trying to outline the CME. Okay, it's what it does. The blue is the leading edge, and the red tries to outline the whole thing. So sometimes the tool malfunctions, and this is the kind of stuff that you see. Um, so what I'll do is, and what really made me look at this one, because this really isn't a, a huge CME. Look at that. I mean, if I just drew right on around, or even like that, I mean, it's not it's not a far stretch to think that this could be one of our objects we're talking about, and it reacted with the sun right here, causing this CME. Okay? I don't think that's too far of a stretch. I really don't. Um, and again, this is without filters, guys. This is just showing up raw. I mean, when it does that, wow. Because <laughs> sometimes we have to try to draw it out by, you know, making it different colors to draw it out just to, so we could see it. But yeah, I mean, look at that. So, you know, I, I would be inclined to think this is one of our objects, okay, uh, interacting with the sun. Um, so there you go. Um, you know, I just wanted to bring this one to you real quick because I just happened to see it and I just want to pass it on to you guys. Um, I'm gonna go to the next day. See if we got anything. Nope, not yet. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can see that. Um, I don't think it's going to cause us any big issues. It could. Now I'm going to, I'm going to explain something real quick. Okay, and I guess I could actually use this uh, picture here on the right. <clears throat> okay, so you got the sun, right? And what we're going to do is we're just going to say the Earth's over here. All right, the sun has poles. It's like the Earth. Okay, so when we're doing our dance with the sun on a typical thing, you know, positive and negative attract each other. Negative and positive attract each other. And then, you know, if you get negative to negative or positive to positive, they push away, right? Well, when we're doing what we're supposed to be doing here, everything's fine. Our magneto pause looks just fine. Does what it's supposed to. We get disturbances when we get stuff from the sun. Coronal holes, sunspots, flares, CMEs, right? Well... Say you add a third magnet to it, okay? Because that's essentially what the planet and the suns are. At the very basic level, we can just call them magnets for this discussion, okay? So, say one of the Planet X objects is sitting right here. Well, it has a magnetic field, positive and negative also. If not multiple magnetic fields, with well, multiple poles, okay? Sometimes that happens. You guys can research that. You know, a planet can have multiple uh, poles at the same time. Earth does sometimes. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, you know, so in a, like I said, in a perfect world, negative to positive, right? Well, then you throw this third magnetic field into it. What happens? Okay, positive and negative attract each other, right? Watch this. This positive to that negative, what happened? It crossed that line. So when that happens, there's a disturbance, okay? Because it's drawing to this negative, and it's pushing this positive. Same 
because it's going to do the same thing over here. What I'm saying is, you see how chaotic that got very, very fast? Okay, that's what happens. Just adding the third one, okay? So if there's multiple extra ones that, that isn't typically here in our solar system, it can get really bad as far as disturbances really, really fast. Okay, I, I just wanted to point that out because I want people to understand why we're talking about this third magnetic field. Because... When a solar wind comes off of the sun, say it's blowing this way, right? It takes it, say this is the earth. It takes it three to four days to get here. All right. Now, if we're connected magnetically to anything, things travel extremely fast that way. <laughs> okay. It travels as fast as electricity does. So, you know, what I'm saying here, guys, is that we can be getting pressure on the, say this, like I said, this is the earth. Say we're getting pressure here or disturbance energy getting hit, hitting our field right there. We, uh, It's been asked that why, how come within 30 minutes sometimes it switches to up here and going this way instead of this way? Well, the reason for that is because it's moving. It's not solar wind. That's what I'm trying to say. It's just more proof that it is magnetic or magnetic uh, disruption because things can move that fast within a magnetic circuit okay and that's what i was trying to point out there so when things get moving around fast here and fast there changing directions here and changing directions there really the only way that that happens is either by using light <laughs> or magnetism electricity those kinds of things that move extremely fast Okay, we're not talking about mass. We're talking about, you know, mag magnetic uh, connections. So just keep that in mind when we start having this discussion again. Okay, but I mean, but you can see, like I said, no filter needed. <laughs> Look at that. What the heck? Anyway, guys, um, I am going to end it here. I uh, just wanted to give you a little quick update. God bless. Yeshua saves and uh, you can drink this Kool-Aid.